Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So let's look a little bit more at Rudy Giuliani. I mean, it's all getting pretty serious now. He lost his law, law license. Or I guess it's suspended. So um, let's see uh, what we can find out about a little bit more about Rudy Giuliani, and I'll refresh you about his history. Okay, so I've got a little bit of information about Rudy Giuliani, uh, so I'll get through it real quick. But it's interesting to to remember where he came from and what's been going on. So um, just uh, a refresher here. So he's uh, Will Rudolph William Lewis Giuliani. He's born on May 28, 1944, and that makes him Gemini. He was born and raised in the East Flatbush section of Brooklyn, New York, which was an Italian-American enclave at that time, and he was the only child of working-class parents. There were children of Italian immigrants uh, with Tuscan descent on the father's side, the Giuliani side, and uh, Rudy was raised Roman Catholic. Now, his dad, Harold, was a plumber. He was a bartender, but he had trouble holding a job. He was convicted of a uh, felony, assault, robbery, served prison time in Sing Sing. Once released, though, he worked as an enforcer for his brother-in-law, who was Leo Diavanzo, who operated a, an organized crime-affiliated loan sharking and gambling ring at a restaurant in Brooklyn. Sounds like Rudy might be a chip off the old block. But uh, in 1951, Rudy was seven. The family moved to Garden City South, and he attended Catholic school. And in 1968, Giuliani graduated from Manhattan College. He majored in political science, and he minored in philosophy, and uh, considered becoming a priest but instead attended the uh, New York University School of Law in Manhattan, and he made the uh, NYU Law Review and graduated uh, cum laude with a Juris Doctor degree and started his political, li political life as a Democrat, voting for Robert F. Uh, Kennedy's presidential campaign. Then after graduation from law school, Rudy clerked for a judge of the Southern District of New York. So he's been circling the Southern District of New York for a while. 1969, Rudy did not serve in the military. He was deferred. Uh, he, yeah, he was deferred while enrolled at Mount Manhattan College and NYU Law. Upon graduation, he was classified 1A, available for military service, but he was reclassified 2A, essential civilian, hmm, as a law clerk. And then in 1970, so he's got something going on here with Trump, the how to avoid going into the, the military. In 1970, Giuliani was again reclassified 1A, but he received a high number of 308, uh, that's the draft lottery numbers they used to call you up, and he was not called for service. And then in 1975, uh, Giuliani switched from Democrat to Independent when recruited as the Chief of Staff to Deputy Attorney uh, Harold Tyler, Deputy Attorney General Harold Tyler with the Ford administration. 1981, Julie, uh, Rudy's parents uh, lived in East Flatbush until uh, his dad died of prostate cancer and his mom moved up to Manhattan's Upper East Side. Now, uh, 1981 is when he was named Associate Attorney General in the Reagan administration. 1983, Giuliani is, is appointed U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York. Uh, Rudy's critic said he arranged for people to be arrested and then he dropped the charges rather than going to trial. So remember, Dad's playing with um, that sort of thing. Man, 1940, 1994 to 2001, he was the first Republican mayor of New York City since 1965. So he had been a Democrat, then he went independent, and now in 1994, he's Republican. 1997, first, he's the first registered Republican to win a second term as mayor um, since 1941. And then in 2001, his mayoral leadership after the September 11, September 11 attacks um, led people to call him America's mayor, and he was named Time Magazine's uh, person of the year. In 2002, he was given an honorary knighthood by the by Queen Elizabeth II, Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom. And in 2002, now he's in private industry, he founded a security consulting business called Giuliani Partners. And was that the beginning of his grifting? 2005, he acquired but later sold an investment banking firm named Giuliani Capital Advisors and joined a law firm named Bracewell and Giuliani. Now, finally, in 2018, Rudy joined Trump's uh, personal legal team. His activities as Trump's team, his activities as Trump's attorney, caused renewed media scrutiny and allegations that he engaged in corruption and profiteering. That was 2018. Folks were saying that. 
In late uh, 2019, Giuliani was reportedly under federal investigation for violating lobbying laws and possibly several other charges as a central figure in the Trump-Ukraine scandal, which resulted in Trump's first first impeachment. Now, following the 2020 presidential election, he represented Trump in many lawsuits in attempts to overturn the election results, making false and debunked at, uh, allegations about rigged voting machines, polling place fraud, and international communist conspiracy. All of this is what just got him into trouble. Federal investigators executed, uh, executed search warrants at Rudy's Manhattan home and office, seizing electronic devices. Part of the investigation focused on the Ukraine. His issues were revisited by Attorney General Merrick Garland and Deputy Attorney General Lisa Monaco. And in 2021, the New York State Supreme Court suspended his license to practice law with a 33-page, really scathing uh, ruling outlining demonstrably blatant and dangerous lies he made to the public. Uh, he is considered a threat to the public's safety. That's the core reason his license was to practice law was uh, suspended, according to the 33-page um, ruling. Man, how does this happen to a person? How do you go from, uh, from hero to zero? So Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot by Joe Lee. These are really terrific cards. They come in a very nice box. If you received them as a gift or gave them as a gift, you'd feel like, oh, that's a, that was a nice gift. And um, the cards themselves are really nice. Um, they're done in the style of sort of circus posters. And uh, the guidebook uh, is really a very nice little guidebook. This fellow Joe Lee uh, was a very interesting uh, person, or is a very interesting person, and uh, I want to find, there's a little bit here that talks about him, um, but he was a circus performer. He went to the Clown College in Florida, which I'm from Florida, and I'm very well at the Clown College here uh, uh, that uh, you can go to to get a, a degree in that. And then uh, he's done other things in his life, and then once he decided uh, that he would create uh, tarot cards, he uh, designed these um, to be so very useful. They're easy to use. Um, the art on them is amazing. And if you know your right away system, you're not going to have a problem, you know, deciphering uh, what these cards are, are going to mean. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory and fun, fun, fun to look at. So, you know, I do this so that you can have a look at these cards. Uh, and, you know, if you're not a person who collects cards or looks at a bunch of tarot cards, otherwise you're only going to see the few cards that a reader pulls at a time. And uh, I think it's just you're missing out on a lot. So, you know, this uh, Legrand uh, Circus Sideshow Tarot, I love using these. Honestly, I mean, what to ask? What to ask Rudy Giuliani? So his license is suspended. Um, he's trying to appeal it, but that's not going to go anywhere. So what's a practical thing to ask uh, poor old Giuliani? Will he eventually actually uh, be arrested and do prison time for this? Will he eventually face trial and do prison time in two different parts? The, um, will, he, will he face prison time and then, um, gosh, will he, well, will he face trial? We'll do that first. First, will he face a trial for all of this um, and be convicted and have to do prison time? So, I mean, he's already faced a trial and his license has been suspended, but this is uh, regarding the uh, criminal culpability, I guess. So will he face trial somehow along with Trump for these things, and then will he do prison time? That seems like the appropriate thing to ask uh, right there. Okay, so yeah, that's what we'll do. Spread this out. Take six cards. That's one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah. Amazing that you can do that to your life. Really amazing. And probably that was an element that was always there. And people in the know uh, would know that. So the signifier card of will this lead to criminal, further criminal prosecution? Um, the Pope. The Pope. Wow. So this is like the Hierophant. So this is the government. The Hierophant is the government. This now, how does it relate in this uh, circus uh, tarot? Well, we just have to say that the hierophant, the hierophant is uh, rules, laws. It could be a uh, religious structure, but this has got to be the government. So this is the hierophant. This is the pope. All right. What the challenge of that? I mean, that's the signifier of this card, the actual government. So the challenge to that is going to be uh, the five of coins. Oh man, getting left out in the cold. 
That's exactly right. This poor old woman is being turned away, and these five of coins, she's left out in the cold. So the government has left him out in the cold. Wow. The uh, basis of this reading, then, is strength. So perhaps uh, somehow he's going to have strength. In the uh, past of this reading, we have the two of cups, which is really balancing. So it looks like he's got some, some play here. Uh, this is two of cups, which is balancing emotion, balancing uh, some passions. And then in the sky of this reading is the magician. Wow. So the magician is, okay, that's what you would hope for as, as him. Uh, we have all the tricks on the table that he can use. Uh, uh, tricky tricks and uh, saintly tricks. So, wow, the magician. Um, and then the likely outcome for the question, will he face some further criminal charges, is uh, the empress. And the empress is being very fertile. And I will say this looks like he might be done. That He might, this might be the end of it, perhaps. But let's see what the, the last of it is, because I asked, would he actually do some, some prison time? So let's see how that comes into this. And maybe that'll help us define that empress more clearly. Uh, the signifier or the self, self of that question, will he actually do prison time, is the emperor. And you know what? The emperor, again, to me, is government uh, in this case. That's just the first thing that comes to mind. The uh, environment that that emperor is in, okay, this is going to be the ace of coins. Okay, just a little offer, a little, so a little something here. So the government has something, okay? And the hopes and the fears for that is going to be the king of wands. Wands are action, motion, power, planning, the government being the king of getting this plan out, which is very good. And then the final outcome for will he actually do prison time is, oh, wow, the nine of swords, which is nightmares. So this could mean that, no, this just becomes a nightmare for him. Or it could be him uh, nightmaring about, um, about doing prison time. So, yeah, it doesn't look good. Whatever it is, it doesn't look good. So, so yeah, that's very interesting for poor old Rudy. Uh, the uh, signifier of the first part of that, asking about if he's going to face some more criminal prosecution. And we got the Hierophant. The Pope is the Hierophant. That's number five of the Major Arcana. So, you know, that's the government for me. And the challenge to that government was being left out in the cold. So does that mean Rudy's left out in the cold or the government's left out in the cold? I have to think that Rudy's left out in the cold. But uh, the basis of that reading was strength, uh, and which uh, seems to me that that belongs to Rudy. This strength belongs to him. And then the uh, past of that was the uh, Two of Cups, which is, you know, a balancing act. Uh, partnerships. Oh, partnerships. That's very interesting. Perhaps he can partner uh, with the government against uh, Trump. Oh, that's very interesting. And then the, uh, it makes more sense then, then the sky of the reading was the magician having a rabbit to pull out of his hat. And then the final outcome of that was a big, fat empress, which is very fruitful. So that makes more sense. But um, then the last part of that question, that reading was, uh, will he do prison time? And we had the emperor, which to me, again, is the government. It's just we didn't have another pope that we could pull out. So the government, uh, it's got a little, a little ace of value. Um, they have, they are, the government is the great big king of wands, kings of action, planning, motion, power, forward. And the uh, uh, likely outcome of the whole thing is just a nightmare, I think, for Rudy. So if he doesn't do prison time, this is probably what's going to finish him off either emotionally or financially or all of the things, all of the above. Wow. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.